Hello, welcome to my talk for the Seven Figure CEO Summit. My name is Zachary Shiloh, or Zachary Shiloh Watts, depending on my preference. I am a multiple times best-selling author. I am a multiple times virtual summit speaker. I am the host of a podcast called The Black Lions Airspace. The last time I was seen on a virtual summit was in January, 2023. My talk was called Seize the Day, Make the Time to Roar for Your Dreams. That talk wound up becoming my greatest video on YouTube. So to all of you out there, the what I would say kids out there, thank you very much for attending that overall summit and giving me views on YouTube. I truly appreciate it. All right, so it's been several months since I was seen on a virtual summit by Elite Publishing House or Blair Hayes. Oh, what a 2023 it's been so far, kids. Uh, I lost my father earlier this year. Matter of fact, when you're watching this, it will be close to four months since his passing. Earlier in the year, somebody that I deem as my sexy British madam called uh, Kim Pierre approached me. She wanted me to read something called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. She sent me an audio book of him actually talking about it. I could not listen to that thing for 10 hours straight. <laughs> I tried. I tried. And I told Kim this. My sister in the She is Magic or They Are Magic series. She said, okay, so uh, try this one for a second. I was fortunate to listen to this thing called uh, Feeling is the Secret. Feeling is the Secret is not authored by Napoleon Hill. It's another legendary figure in the self-help world by the name of uh, Neville Goddard. I felt more of a connection with that than Think and Grow Rich. Amazing that I'm mentioning a book on uh, thinking grow rich in a summit called Seven Figure CEO. We'll get to that shortly. All right, so Kim is adamant that I should listen. So I applied it. I make it a habit of listening to this thing every single day for several months. Before I know it, October has hit now. About a month and 13 days ago in my time, uh, Kim and I are talking again and we're hyping ourselves up because she's returning to my podcast after two plus years or so. I believe it's two years even. All right. She suggests that I listen to this lecture by Neville Goddard called uh, Imagination Plus Faith. Yes, the same author of Feeling as the Secret. So I'm listening to this thing and I could literally see feeling is the secret 
become even bolder. I am a dreamer, kids out there. I have been since I was little. I love being in my imagination. And from that, I can see now that I have been creating my world to some degrees or another. I truly believe that. Not because Kim Pierre recommended I listen to that audio book. Not because Neville Goddard uh, made that thing decades ago. I really see it. I'm a reflective person too. I meditate on my life and how it's going. And to say I haven't created my life is bullshit. It's a lie. Things I wanted in this reality have come to fruition because I imagined them. I imagined them. Like my sexual relationships, I imagined being with those women. I imagined them. And then I had faith in our relationship over time. And I took steps to make it so. Not just go about letting the universe do its job on me. I have a book release coming in November. When you're watching this, I believe it should be about a week away. My book is called In the Midst of Chaos, Manifesting Life Through Co-Creation. That baby is my blood is my sweat, is my tears, is my journey, journeys over the last near four years. Telling how I was a type two diabetic to becoming a holistic health coach who found abundance, not just in money. But now, in the present, I am manifesting a life through co creation still. But I'm working on a higher frequency than I did four years ago. And even when I was writing in the Mystic Chaos. I believe that too. In the midst of chaos has been my main thought, has been my main focus for months, or maybe over a year now. Blair Hayes uh, kind of disappeared for a while, and after she returned, uh, we started working on my book. And this is where imagination plus faith kind of applies a bit. All right. So Blair had me meet her daughter, uh, Kathy, who is the designer of our book series, the Magic Series books. And hi, Catherine. Thank you for... Uh, making those covers you are awesome all right so i get to know the teenager blair is chiming at the bits of with the excitement so i follow the instructions all right zachary shallow uh give catherine details 
of how you want your book to look like. She'll go ahead and create it. Bit, 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 bit. So I tell the girl, all right, I'm looking for something that shows this world isn't completely sunshine and rainbows. That there's crack in the clouds. Kind of like concrete. I wanted a label called Reader Discretion is Advised on it. Many people who have gone through the process of becoming published authors, use colorful language, and they don't know how their audience is completely. For example, like me, I didn't have any idea how language was with the She Is Magic series or what became the, the They Are Magic series. So Blair actually had a meeting once three years ago and I changed what was Black Lion's Roar in a span of a few days from 17 pages to five of the idea that uh, I had to be clean cut. <laughs> so Zachary Shiloh is a bit more colorful than clean. Zachary Shiloh is a prick, a child, a father, a sinner, a saint, a lover, and an overall human being. <laughs> and I wanted to reflect myself in writing. So I branched off from Blair eventually, and I started being more me. In my right. I didn't want in the midst of chaos to be like they imagined was. And I knew the audience of elite publishing house to some degrees or another because I have read practically all the books that Blair has published in the last near four years. And other authors have used colorful language. <laughs> but I wanted to give readers a warning. A warning in advance. That what is said can be colorful. It is explicit. So I told Catherine Denoff, all right, I want that label. Not only do I want it for me. I have been a fan of music since I was a child. From what you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a non-Caucasian male. I am all black from what I understand of my family. One genre of music that we are known for, us blacks, is hip hop. On those albums in the last, I would say, uh, 30 plus years, has been a parental discretion is advised label on the bottom of records or CDs. Uh, excuse me. Or even uh, downloads by our standards. And I wanted to honor not just the hip hop heads, but I wanted to honor people that were in the rock community, 
people that were given that title because their stuff was very cold. So back to the creation of In the Midst of Chaos. So we're going back and forth for practically 15 days. For 15 days, Blair Hayes, Catherine Denoff, and myself, we're creating the cover of the In the Midst of Chaos. When I saw the cover, it was everything I wanted and more. I imagined it daily from the moment I woke up until the moment I went to bed. I believed in Catherine Denner that the girl would not just give me what I asked for. I believed in her creativity. I gave her details. She ran with whatever creative ideas that spurned off in her head. When she showed it to me, I jazzed out with her and her mother there. Like I said, no more. No more work needs to be done on this cover. That is it. That is it. In the midst of chaos. In the midst of chaos. That is it. And I'll share the actual <clears throat> cover with you. I believe by way of a yeah, I'll send it to you in the show description. <laughs> you can actually see it on my social medias. I am promoting it. I have been promoting it heavily by now when you see this. I am so passionate about that book. And I'm passionate about business. I've been an online coach now, soon to be three years. I've put countless hours into my craft. I've worked with Blair Hayes in shifting my mind money set. My dear friend, Karen O'Malley, who used to be known as Karen Terrace. Uh, we've been working together too. And Marie Hernandez, who has been guiding me in not just manifesting my business stronger, but helping me to realize some other dreams, such as me traveling. Now, where does imagination plus faith apply to you? See, you're not somebody that makes thousands of dollars, like a seven-figure CEO, truly would. That's all right. That's okay. I joined this summit just reading my email, seizing an opportunity that was gifted to me by my dear friend, my mentor, and what I refer to time again as the sandbox crush. Plus, I imagine an opportunity coming forth for me to bring about having seven figures and stronger. Let me repeat that again. Having seven figures and stronger for myself. 
I've been following signs of the universe for months on end. I've been just believing now that I'm worthy of having that seven-figure and stronger lifestyle. But it's not enough just to imagine it. It's not enough to just believe it. You really got to put in the work to do so. I have been writing about it. I've been talking to the aforementioned women that I've been talking to about it. I have been going back to my roots. I stopped dressing a certain way that defined me. What you see, ladies and gentlemen, is how I used to dress. I stopped for months. And I believe now that I lost part of myself, part of who I was, or who I am. So I started asking myself, how would this CEO dress? Well, Zachary Shiloh don't dress in no body suit. Let's get that shit on the stove. Unless I really have to. But I dress in a business casual look. And what you see is it. So I have the attire. <sighs> what what do he do? I not only work work, but I'm trying my absolute best to make time to just exist outside of <laughs> work. Uh Karen O'Malley and I had a chat a few days ago. Uh, I am a complete stoic, kids. I'm going to be honest. I am so passionate about what I do. And my life revolver, if you want to use that term. How I just exist. And I see you guys like Donald Trump. They have their money being who they are. I want to have my money from who I am. And I'm not going to back down from anybody about who and what I am. I'm not. I didn't lose weight four years ago because I was wishy-washy. I knew what I wanted. I even applied this thing of imagination and faith with action years ago. I was unaware to some degrees or another in recent times. But I see tomorrow, four years ago, was a tragedy. One of the greatest tragedies of my life. I actually almost died, kids out there. Literally. But I had the shits to say, okay, I, I got to go get help. I can't do this anymore. Then the next day on the 17th, after leaving work early the day prior, I went to the doctor for the first time in years. Where I learned I was a diabetic. And that forced me to get my shit together. I wound up taking steps 
after being told on Halloween to lose weight. I took my very first cold shower and it was straight up cold. It was straight up cold. But I could see it. I could see the change in me right there and then. And I believe that I could lose the weight. Then I started not only imagining, I started seeing other things I could do and applying myself through faith, through faith and action. I see this thousand dollar life, this set seven figure CEO. Zachary Shallow has multiple sources of income. He does. I'm not just one way. <clears throat> Believe it or not, kids out there, say hello to a form of what could possibly be me having a higher income. Lotto. I stopped doing it two years ago, not for lack of money, but a, a lack of drive. Remembering the times that I lived with my second fiance, how from this point in the present, I saw we had strong lack. Lack of money, strong, strong lack of faith, and other things. But I'm not losing it in this go around. I deserve a life that is tailor made for me. I am not my father. He had his ways of doing things. And I told him growing up, I have mine. And I'm not going to waver on it now. I have faith that this life is mine. I imagine it. I believe it, and I take whatever steps that are necessary to not only bring about financial wealth, but to build a stronger body. I don't know if you can see this, kids, but my arms are bulging with veins. And that's because I take my health seriously. I don't do what some people, many people do in this world. People even ask me, how do I do? But now I can say out loud, it has been through imagination and faith. So if you wanna be a seven figure CEO and higher, Have some imagination, faith, and action. With that said, one goal, one aim, one road, one focus, one track. And that's lovings. Even if it sounds like I was venting, I'm passionate. I'm passionate about the women that I actually named. I'm passionate about being here in this summit, which I consider as a blessing. I'm passionate about my book, In the Midst of Chaos, roaring in Amazon.com on November 14th, 2023. Please join myself in Blair Hayes on launch day.
and I bow to you in respect. Please take care of yourselves, your friends and family. Namaste.